Okay, next we're going to talk about the modulation and the controlling arm. Is That's what I'm going to call this. I don't know what else to call it. It's not really a fretboard, although that is kind of the direction. And it's kind of a handle, too. It's also the control section or whatever. I'm just going to call it the arm. Let's talk about modulation. Uh, modulation is control voltage sent to some function on the synthesizer to change it over time. So here is how that works in regard to this particular synthesizer. Let's start with the two oscillator modulation. In general, with both of these off and no functionality happening over here, um, we have no modulation. We have a little bit of an envelope there, but that's different. So let's say we wanted some modulation to occur uh, to the oscillator. Let's start off with force, which is actually aftertouch. Switch that to force. And what happens? Let's open the filter up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but how hard I push on this key uh, affects what frequency the key is playing. If I just play it normally, nothing happens. But I, if I engage that aftertouch, we're going to get a pitch bend. And that's because this switch over here marked force is set to bend. So basically, it's bending the pitch. And you control the amount with the force amount. So if we see the white line, it's not going to be very much. But we can turn this all the way up and then... So basically, we are saying the force is going to modulate the oscillator. We can also switch that to modulation. So then when we engage the aftertouch, we'll get the modulations uh, settings that are happening here in this section. Right now we have a triangle wave and the rate's at three. And of course you can change that. You can change it to a square wave. And control the amount by how hard you press the key or by how hard you press the key in regard to the force amount. We also have sample and hold. So already, even with force alone, you have an incredible amount of opportunities based on what waveform you choose, what rate you choose, how hard you press the key, what the switch is set to, the force switch, and what the force amount is set to. We also have the opportunity to use the wheel. And that's this mod wheel right here. Engaging the aftertouch does nothing, but we can turn the mod amount up. It's just like a normal mod wheel. We also have the ability to engage this functionality in the filter. If we switch to we go to the two filter switch and we switch it to force. We can set the force to bend, force amount high, and then we'll close the filter so you can really hear it. How hard you press the key decides how open or closed the filter is. And you can control the amount with the force amount. Of course, you can also set it to wheel, which then, after touch does nothing, and the mod amount wheel will affect the filter. So, that's really a lot going on, and they can go on at the same time. You can have the force set to the filter, and the wheel set to the pitch. 
So wow, yeah, you have a lot of expression possibilities using the modulation section in conjunction with all of the functionality on the arm. There's still more there we haven't talked about. We do have a filter knob that is just a filter cutoff knob that you can control um, the filter cutoff with. It's spring-loaded. You also can control the volume. And you have a pitch ribbon. This pitch ribbon is the same pitch ribbon used on the Micromoke. It takes a little bit of force to do it. But you know, you could have this going on with the other modulations that are happening. It's a lot of fun. One last thing in the modulation section is this switch marked trig. What it does is it sends a pulse from the LFO to the contour generator, causing it to trigger. Watch. Now we're making sounds without playing. And if we adjust the contour generator, we can get different sounds. If we add things like modulation, we can get even different sounds. And we can add modulation. And uh, basically it allows you to have the synthesizer play and do something interesting while you have fun mixing and matching, etc. That's a lot of fun. And last but not least, you have the ability to switch the glide on and off. So you have all of those things that you can be doing to make your sound expressive in the midst of your playing, plus all the incredible functionality that you already have in the synthesizer. So the modulation section in this synthesizer is very, very expressive.